Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with us by Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of Elusive Age on the PC. Last time, we explored the town of Octagonia here, got ourselves a new recipe book, other stuff like that, and more importantly, most importantly, we entered into the Masked Martial Arts Tournament here, MMA, which totally is not going to get sued by the real MMA society, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah see here. Let's go ahead and go sleep at the inn and get started on our path to victory. Uh, the only person you actually need to worry about equipping for these fights is the main character because he's the only one that you're going to be fighting as. Uh, you know what? I, I'm, I'm thinking about it and just for shits and giggles on this particular file, I think I am going to spend the money on the slightly stronger sword that's available right now even if it's only a small upgrade. The uh, Black Blade. Yeah, let's just give it to him. Uh, we can probably forge it up real fast. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, the Rotter Sword is slightly better at the moment. But if we get it upgraded, well, we can have a nice little stronger weapon. I'm going to do that, I'm gonna do that off screen real fast, though, just to be on the safe side. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And yeah, it's not much of an upgrade. Let's see, 59 compared to 54, so only five. But and I guess you, I guess you do lose that one percent critical chance. But at the same time, we've been rocking the the uh, broader sword for a while, and <clears throat> on the main file, we're going to be rocking the platinum sword for quite a while. So whenever you see the main file and you see the platinum sword, that thing's sitting there for a while. So yeah, we might as well try something new while we have a chance because I didn't win the the big power sword this time so whatever we will survive anyways let's go ahead and rest up at the inn and get ready for our big day by the way I looked it up or I looked it up uh, I reinstalled the original version of Dragon Quest 11 and you do not get experience from running over monsters in that game with your horse so I really thought you did. I, I, I didn't think that was something they added just for this version of the game, but apparently it is. So, good to know. Good to know. Well, if it isn't Vince's new partner, he was here just a minute ago, matter of fact. He didn't come wake you up tomorrow morning in time for your first fight. Maybe you had heard already what fighters say for free? Yep, let's go. Now, I'll rest up excellent for tomorrow, because I'm a champ. Not as much of a champ as I was the last time I was here, but eh, whatever. Rise and shine, partner. Time to hit the arena. All right, we're in the waiting room, and these two right here—not uh, these two barrels, but those two uh, individuals. Ooh, I love magic water. It's not too shabby. So I use my magic like zap, whoosh, then you come in and whack him, biff, pow, okay? You got it? Zap, whoosh, biff, pow, got it. Hey, did you hear about all the fighters going missing? I heard they all got kidnapped. What kind of punk would pick on us like that, huh? Well, if the creep tries any of that stuff on me, he'll soon regret it. Yeah, she's just very, uh, perky, I guess. Very, uh, what, like, excited to get going out there and start casting magic. So, at least they're having fun. And this guy right here, you need to get some rest beforehand, you got a bed, and this guy is an ordained priest. So he can, he acts as your church if you really need to if you really need to do anything here. I think we're good on our character builder. We got seven points, which means that's not gonna give us like that or anything like that, so Yeah. And there's nothing there's nothing in the sword tree that we need because they're all based on the one handed swords, so yeah, we're good there. Uh Everyone else is good, so we're set. Hey, partner, it's time to get to it. You all set? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. It's time for our first bout! And boy, is it a big one. Vince Vanquish and his mysterious new partner take on the Underdigger and the Abominable Showman! 
teams, enter the arena. Huh. We meet again, Underdigger. Gotta stop bumping into each other like this. Oh, give me a break, will ya? Up against a champ in the first round. I must have the worst bleeding, stinking luck in the whole bleeding, stinking world. Right, you. Here's the plan. We wallop the kid first. Then we move on to Vince, all right? That way, we might actually stand <coughs> a chance of getting out of here alive. Sure thing. We're gonna win this easy. And then all the girls are gonna be swooning over me. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> All right, teams, I want a nice clean bout. On my word. Here it comes, folks. And fight! Crap. We got these two idiots on our first attempt here. Nice. And I don't know what's wrong with uh, the abominable show, man. I get. I don't know if he's got like some tongue problem or whatever, uh, but as you can see, Underdigger likes to get crits. He likes to get lots of crits, actually. So we're gonna be seeing a fair chunk of those. So if we can get rid of him sooner rather than later, that'd be pretty good. They do have a pet power if they get pepped up, so that'd be pretty nice if that happens. And a bomber little showman, he has vulnerability. Uh, we'll be seeing that pretty soon, actually, if he ever gets to it. Now, right now he's just attacking, but he does have his own special ability to deal with. And I think we're gonna stop attacking Underdigger here, let him get into Pep, and hope for the best here. Because they, they, they both have to be pepped up here. I'm gonna go ahead and great sword guard. Hey, he's pepped up. Now, I think the way this works is. The Abominable Showman, yeah, will probably get pepped up the next turn, too. It's like a guaranteed pep when one of them gets pepped up and, uh... Bums away. Bums away! Death by booty. It's not great. It's not the way to go. Time to get back in the game! And yeah, Vince! is pretty good at uh, healing you up with strong medicine every once in a while, so nice. He's not terribly great for dealing damage, as you can see, so I don't know how he got to be the champion. Considering he's doing, like, absolutely nothing for damage, but, you know. Blast off! Yeah, 30 points of damage. And about one little showman is not doing his special ability right now. There you go. And he makes doppelgangers. I think three of them total, so there's four total of him. And they each get a turn, and you can get rid of them pretty easily with a group targeting spell, so... There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. The Underdigger and the Abominable Showman are defeated. And we get our own experience points that don't share with the party. So we're gonna even be more over level than our party. Yay. That's it! It's all over! Vince has done it again! Nice job, partner. You're tougher than you look. Hmm. Sounds like the next fight started already. Would you look at the kid go? She's incredible! Who is this girl? 
I can barely keep up. <sighs> and what's with the old guy? He's just standing there. You do make it ever so easy. You're done, kid. Fight's over! Rab and Jade are the winners! Heavens be praised! How are we supposed to compete with that? Admit it, Vince. Even you're impressed. Yeah, she ain't bad. We make it to the... Safely to the next round after the preliminary bouts. Yay. What are you talking about? She ain't bad. She's right, awesome. folks. Here are the teams who'll be fighting it out for your pleasure in the final bouts. Will Vince and his new sidekick prove invincible and take the title again? Or will Rab and Jade continue their incredible run and pip the champ at the post? It's all still to play for. Come back tomorrow when the action continues. You won't want to miss it! I lucked out getting you as my partner. We're in with the chance, you and me. Anyway, I better go. The kids will be waiting for me back at the orphanage. Again, how that guy is the champ with that weak-ass damage he was putting out, I don't know, but... Oh well. Anyways, yeah, so there we go. We got our first bout out of the way. We did pretty damn good, because we're awesome like that. Yeah. And... That girl, she did pretty damn good, too. And Eric was, uh, slightly outclassed by, like, a pretty fair amount. But, oh well, he tried. Talk of the town, huh? Nice. Saw you out there on the Underdigger and the Abominable Showman. You give him a room whooping. Ah, cool. We got new fans. Neat. Uh, does this guy care? Or does he so just care about his skin care? No. I think he just cares about his skin. Like, that's the only thing he cares about. Fair enough. Eric, are you getting chewed out by Veronica? Because that's kind of what looks like is happening here. Yep, Veronica's picking a fight with an adult again because that's what she does. That's what she does. What was that? She wipes the floor with you. You should be ashamed of yourself going out in the first round. Look, I did the best I could, okay? But she's... she's not normal. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't just love-struck? You looked a bit weak at the knees to me. And what with her flashing her legs around like that? Well... <gasps> Veronica! It's them! Huh? Excuse me, lassie. Would you mind standing aside? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Shall we? Hmm. I'd keep a close eye on your partner if I were you. Keep an eye on Vince? What does she mean by that? You don't think it could be anything to do with the missing people we heard about, do you? Didn't someone say that they were all competitors in the tournaments they have here? Could... could Vince be in danger? Missing people? That's the first I've heard of it. Doesn't sound good, though. Maybe you should go check on Vince. 
Don't want your partner disappearing before the big day. I think Veronica was just jealous of the other girl because she was like, oh, she's flashing her legs around like that, and I don't got those long legs anymore. I like my sister and Gemma and that girl, so, uh, yeah, she's just jealous. That's all it is. But, yeah, she w Veronica wishes she could be, you know, regular age and be rocking a cute outfit like Serena right here, but sadly, she cannot. So, tough. Anyways, uh, let's see how people react to us winning. Ah, yeah, we're a big hit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What about you? I mean, I've been famous for other reasons before, not for good reasons, but other reasons. What about up front? Or up top here? But I'm going to let you know. Uh, for the first round of the tournament, like that round right there, that day... That's just the only match we have. And then they're going to front load like freaking, or back load like freaking three fights uh, when I wake up tomorrow and go to the arena. So, yeah, they had like the preliminaries for the first day, and then the rest of them are all the other fights, including the final. And I'm like, okay, sure. This guy right here, I think we've talked to him before, but he says, Oh, you look weak, and yet you are strong. That is something I could aspire to. Thanks, guy. That's a very nice backhanded compliment right there. You look like you're a chump, or you're a champ. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, Baldy. Go away. Uh, let's see. How you doing, Eric? A lot of the guys from the first round, they're not around anymore. You don't think they could have been kidnapped, do you? Eh, they're all tough guys. They wouldn't go out without a fight. Maybe they just went home. I guess I do have a couple regulars who suddenly stopped showing up. The Underdigger, I think, was one of them. Hey, you don't think he's been kidnapped or anything? Well, he's not over there ha uh, yelling at the dude about the Underdigger stuff not being sold anymore, so... That's a win for you, right? Fighting Jews. Hey, you guys. How you guys doing? Thought you were just a kid, but you're a heck of a fighter. Not that that'll matter if we ever tingle in the ring. You'll be crying for your mommy soon enough. I may be crying for my mommy, but you can be crying and calling me daddy. Not you, though. I don't care about you, Wambolina. I thought you were the quiet retiring type. Seems like you're more of the strong, silent type. I like that. Here's someone to get the chance to go up against each other one of these days. Yeah, I prefer, you know, the bunny girl over the, the manly girl. Or, maybe not the manly, but the the beat you up with her sword girl. Keep dreaming, fellas. Keep dreaming. So, Vonda, what are you doing over here? Loving those moves, honey. You're not just a fighter, you're a dancer, too. Go get him, tiger. Oh, did I get a bit carried away there? Sorry, darling. I know we have more important things to worry about. Speaking of which, don't you think it's weird it's only fighters that are going missing? And tough, tournament-ready fighters are that? It's a real head-scratcher. How many times do I need to tell you? The new guy's good, but he's just a kid. Champ's much stronger. Sip it, punk. You don't. You just don't get it. Anyone who knows anything about fighting knows that kid's the real deal. Well, I'm not great at, like, fist-to-fists. Like, fisticuffs or whatever. But you give me a sword, and I'll beat anybody's ass. You just staring at the food there, guy? Uh, you haven't seen the Bob and Will Showman, have you? I wanted to get his autograph, but there's no sign of him anywhere. Yeah, I guess he's one of the guys that decided to head out after the tournament. Alright, give me one second here. Alright, let's get back to it, and let's go to the orphanage and check on Vince. I think all our party members just tell us to go check on Vince if we see him. Like, if we talk to Veronica, she'll say, yeah, go check on him. Uh, Vince might be a target, yeah, so... Yeah, just head to the orphanage. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, you're that kid who got paired with the champ. Everyone's talking about you. Can't wait for your next fight. Huh? Looking for Vince? Probably headed home to the orphanage. You should go look for him there. Fair enough. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Underdigger's real tough, but he came up short again. Still, I guess he'll be back next year. You know what? I ain't seen him or the showman since they're not, their fight finished. Maybe they just lit out for home after getting beat. I mean, that's probably it. They're probably like, hey, we lost, and we don't want to, you know, stick around to have it rubbed in. So, we're going to leave. Fair enough. I wish this sign wasn't so bright. I keep thinking it's like something to collect. You're fighting in the tournament? Well, I hope you know you've got no chance of winning. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Golden Boy's gonna beat all of you. 
Yeah, uh-huh. Keep dreaming, keep dreaming, Blondie. I underestimated you. You've got more potential than I thought. I hope you go far, but if you get drawn against us, that's all over. Me and my partner, we just get each other. No one can compete with that. I wonder, who's a, I wonder who his partner is. Maybe he's got the flair for showmanship or something like that. Uh, let's see how this guy's doing over here. Cause I think we talked to him last time. One ticket for the best seat in the house. You want to buy this Lucky Charm, too? These things work wonders with the Octagon Eat Girls. Trust me. Hey, quit sticking your nose in where it ain't wanted. This is a private conversation. Man, people here are so friendly. Dude just sold me a super cheap ticket, and now he's offering me a Lucky Charm, too. So glad I took my old Ma's advice and tried to trust everybody I meet. Works out on the island and works here in the city, too. I believe in you, fella. I believe in you. I also believe in not getting lost on the way to the orphanage. <gasps> oh, it's you. Man, I thought you were some creep sneaking up on me. Sorry, it's just... I keep hearing about fighters going missing. Kind of puts a guy on edge, you know? Didn't mean to scare you, partner. Seeing as you're here, why don't you come inside? Hey, look! Uncle Vince is back! You kids were good while I was gone, right? Uh-huh. Is this a friend of yours, Uncle Vince? Yup. A very important one. So you play quietly while he's here, okay? Oh, I'll beat you there! I'll beat you there! Can't catch me! I was born and raised in this orphanage, man. That's actually why I fight. Wanted to raise some money, give a little something back, you know? Trouble is, fighting's all I'm good at. If I stop winning, these kids stop beating. Huh. Won't be a problem this year, though. You and me, we're going all the way. Good to have you along for the ride, partner. Vince talks on and on for hours while the main character struggles to get a world in, word in edgeways. I mean, he doesn't speak much anyway, so... Man, look at the time. Sorry. Once I start gabbing... I kind of find it hard to stop. Wait, was there something you wanted to talk about? I mean, I'm guessing that's why you came to... Huh. Hey, did you hear that? It came from my room. There it is again. There's somebody up there! Uh, somebody breaking into the orphanage? I have no idea. What if the burglar wasn't alone? What if there was a whole bunch of them and they came for Uncle Vince? Please, you gotta go to Uncle Vince's room and check on him. Check on him. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you got the kids safely. By the way, this kid has the weirdest, like, haircut with, uh, one set of bangs down and then the other one kind of, like, folded up. It's really weird. I don't know, it's just a weird look. You guys okay? Don't cry, Uncle Vince will catch that burglar. I wish people wouldn't keep talking about fighters going missing. Makes me think Uncle Vince might be next. Eh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Uncle Vince looked real fired up when he went ran into his room. Something real bad must have happened. Man! Some punks tossed my room! What kind of lowdown? Dirty thief, burglar rises, an orphanage anyhow. And what were they looking for? Uh, <clears throat> Just you creeps, wait! Uh, listen. We got a fight to think about. It's late. You should stay here tonight. You down with that? I got a nice comfy bed down at the, uh, the inn. <laughs> Come on, man. There ain't no need to be polite or nothing. All right, go get some shut eye. I'll wake you when it's time to hit the arena. Wait, can I at least look at that book in the bookcase? This might be something cool, but probably not. Up and at him, partner. It's fighting time. 
That's the spirit. We got a fight to get to. How early in the morning are these fights? Or are we just waking up at like noon? Well, there we go. We made it up here pretty quick. How'd you guys do in your fight? We didn't see you previously. Just because you lost, that doesn't mean the tournament's over. You gotta get out of the crowd and cheer for your fellow fighters, man. I'll whistle you clap, okay, like this. <coughs> beep, beep. Clap, clap. Beep, beep. Clap, clap. Think you can do that? Can I get a beep, 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 beep? Can I get a clap, 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 clap? Pretty good, right? I'm telling you, kid, I got the best partner in the business right now. She really believes in me. And she's cute, too. So, you know, you got pretty lucky there. Pretty lucky. All right. Uh, we're all healed up. So we're good to go. Yep, we're all set. Let's go. I wonder who we're going to fight next. Couldn't possibly be the ladies two ladies we've been hearing so much about. Are you ready for some more masked martial arts action? Our first fight of the day features the favorites for the title. It's the Invincibles, starring none other than reigning champion, Vince Vanquish! They'll be facing off against hometown hotties, Cinderella and Wambolina, a.k.a. the BT Queens! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cinderella. And I'm Wambolina. Hello, boys. It seems the girls have brought their fan club along. Well, Get ready to cheer your hearts out, folks! Something tells me this is going to be about to remember. Fighters, get ready to go to war! Don't let the pretty pretty act fool you. They made it this far. That means they can fight. On your marks. Get set! Fight! Alright, let's fight the BD Queens. Oh yeah! Hey, yeah, they mean business. Let's and they the both heat. got their specialties. Cinderella <laughs> is a magic user. And Wambolina, it's let's user sword. Roll. I don't I don't know if we ever get that wand that Cin uh, Cinderella has. It'd be pretty cool if we did, but I don't know if we do. No. So I'm gonna try to get Cinderella out of the way quickly. <laughs> Because, you know, magic hits more than one character. Wambolina mostly uses, I think, Flame Slash and... I don't think she has a whole lot else, really, now that I'm thinking about it. Primarily Flame Slash, and Cinderella can heal, I think, and she does Sizzle. I forget what else she does, but... Let's get her out of the way first. Luckily, she's targeting Vince a lot, so we're good. Ooh, that's a charm attack right there. Yeah, it means he's going to be out of commission for the next turn. Oh, well. That hurt. Think you can handle me now? Gee, I wonder if the other one's going to pep up immediately. Here, keep cutting Cinderella. I don't think she's going to die from this. Yeah, what a shock. Let's see what your pet power is. Smoking hot slash. Ooh, we dodged. Nice. Hey, stop healing. Also, if my buddy Vince wants to heal me, that'd be nice. It's not necessary, but it'd be nice. You want to target the one that keeps healing herself? That'd be fantastic. Okay, I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. Snooze on uh, Cinderella. There we go. Yeah. Can't heal herself until Vince wakes her up. Let's you fucking up bastard. Vince, you can't her as lump. Thanks for the heal, but you could have not woken her up the split second I put her to sleep. She's like, hey, you look like you're taking a nap. Let's take care of that. Oh, thanks, Vince. Again, how you were the champion, I have no idea. 
Uh, I think, uh, Lambelina here can block, so we won't watch out for that, but for the most part, we'll be fine. She's not doing a whole lot of damage. I don't think Vince ever peps up, so we don't get, like, any extra... pep power with him or anything like that, sadly. It'd be nice if we did. But I don't think he does. Ooh, get crit. Nice. And the BD Queens are done. Cool. We did it, partner. We sure did. That's it. It's all over. The Invincibles have done it again. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're into the semifinals, and here come our first challengers. Give them a big hand now. It's the Invincibles. They'll be taking on a pair of dashing dark horses who surprised us all with their flair for ferocity. It's Golden Boy and Sterling Silva, AKA the Bullion Boys. <laughs> you look out below. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, we meet at last, foul villain. I had hoped you would survive long enough to suffer at my hands. <laughs> now, time to lie back and let the great Silv... <clears throat> I mean, the magnificent Sterling Silva show you which of us is the better once and for all. Uh, so you guys know each other? Ha! Know each other? None can know the true identity of Sterling Silva and live. Nor that of his faithful sidekick, Golden Boy. The Bullion Boy's real names will go with them to their graves. These guys sure know how to put on a show. No, these fiends! We will not be holding back. Our onslaught will be merciless and swift. Huh. Likewise. Is he roiding? What is he drinking right there? Grape juice? <clears throat> Just my little pre-fight ritual. All right, let's do this. Looks like our fighters are ready to rumble, folks. All right, on my word. Fight! <laughs> Here nobody must. beats the Bullion Boys. Eyes open. As a real Mavericks, be in your guard, okay, partner? This will not be easy. Yeah, Bullion Boy does oh his. Boy. Bullion Boy does, uh. Boomerang type stuff and hits us both about twice each. Not for a whole lot of damage, as you saw, but he does hit both of us. And Savando, he's basically the same as. You know, regular party member, except. He. Also has a pretty cool move that raises his attack stat a little bit, which is pretty neat for the most part. Uh, yeah, I don't have any antidotes here. Oh well, we'll survive. Yeah, he has a move that raises like his attack and defense, I think, one stage, which sadly he never gets anytime else throughout the game. I don't think Vince has a a. Uh, Poison heal pill. 
Okay. I don't know if these guys had a pet power together. They probably did, but... Well, they didn't survive long enough to show it off, that's for sure. And I think Vince will be happy enough to heal us up, so we'll do it. Oh, we got lucky on that crit. I wasn't trying to kill... Uh... Golden Idiot. I was just trying to get him down to red so he'd go to pet power. We could see if they had a, a move, but eh, we'll survive. And Savannah, you're going down pretty quick. There you go, you got a pet. You have yeah, see, this ability right here. Yeah, he gets like a. He gets like a cub buff and oof on himself. So he gets extra attack and extra defense by one level. I wish he got that in the rope in the regular game. That'd be nice. Stop trying to kiss me. I think that's the move, um, that's a more, which is in the uh, showmanship tree. Or, yeah, the showmanship or whatever. And that's the one that's based on his charm and has a chance to poison you. So, it's, pretty, it's a pretty decent ability. But there are better abilities for him later. More experience. Yeah. We are doing pretty good here. That's enough. I'm calling this one. The Bullion Boys have been beaten! <sighs> Curses! The great Silv um, uh, Serling Silva defeated! But I feel no shame in losing to one such as you. It was a battle of epic and legendary proportions, and I thank you for it. Good luck in the final, darling. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the showdown you've all been waiting for. The Grand Final of the Masked Martial Arts Tournament! That's right. Just two teams remain. Invincibles, if you please! They're hot favorites, folks. But will our hometown hero be able to retain his crown? Or will surprise newcomers Rab and Jade snatch glory from the reigning champ? Will the princess and the pudding please take to the stage? Yes, it's the girl who moves like lightning and the old guy who doesn't move at all. Will they be making history here today? It's time to find out. Something about these two gives me the willies. But we got this. Time for a little good luck boost. Will you stop drinking your roided grape juice before the fight? You're making me nervous. Did you see that? I did. Oh, yeah! Let's do this. Let's win this thing. Hmm. All right, laddie. Show us what you've got. This is it, folks. One last time now. <laughs> Fight! <coughs> Show us what you've Let's got. Let's do this, shall we? Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, so we got Jade and Rab here, and like they Let's said, the this. Princess Jade and the Pudding Rab. That's a perfect name. And I love his announcement. The girl that moves like lightning and the old guy who just doesn't move at all. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice little intro for him. Uh, Rab is a spellcaster, specializes in healing, and he has a dark magic that... Or maybe not specializes in healing, but he has healing and he has a dark magic spell called Zam, which has a high, higher critical hit chance than normal. So it's 
pretty nice. And Jade just uses fist, uh, fist abilities for the most part. She'll attack us. I think she has a chance to like uh, do something called a leg sweep, which will knock us on the floor and skip a turn. Sometimes they just do assessing the situation, which means they just stand there and don't do anything for a turn. And that's actually real nice because you don't have to worry about, you know, getting damage or one of them healing each other or something like that. Jade is definitely the more dangerous of the two. Yeah, that's Zam right there, and that has a higher critical hit chance. Blast off! Propeller Blade. How come all the fighters in this particular tournament use... Maybe not all of them, but a couple of them use claws and whatnot. Like, Eric's partner is using claws, this guy's using claws, Jade is using uh, hands and feet. Uh, the Underdigger and the Abominable Showman were using their hands. Okay, so they're probably going to get a pet power here. Thanks for the heal. You want to wake up there, dude? Nah. Yeah, 45 each. That's not too shabby. Now. Right. She, she, that was her leg sleep that she tried to make it so that you missed a turn right there. But it didn't actually affect Vince there, so it worked out pretty good. Wake up, you lazy bastard. You got plenty of sleep last night. There you go. Took you a while. Jade, we're gonna get rid of you because you're causing all the problems. Because you're. Actually, I, I guess Rav is the one to put us to sleep, but still. Thank you for constantly healing us, Vince. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, something that would be enough to finish her off. And there's a mid heal. Okay. I think. I think part of his, like, claw attack hit, and then the other part missed. Because I think the way claws work is, uh, I don't think you can, um, you might be able to do a little, I'm not sure. But I think the way it works anyways is, oh, oh we're down to 9 HP. That's kind of low. But I think the way that they work anyways is, equipping a claw makes that, makes that, uh, hand do two attacks at once. So it's kind of like, um... Yeah, you just get two attacks at once. As far as I know. I could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. And stop healing Jade. She's trying to die peacefully. There you go. Goodbye, Jade. I'm sorry that we had to knock you out because you're extra hot. But, you know, it happened. Okay, you're just going to stand there and not do anything. That makes my life easy. Honestly, if you had a blizzard of sleep, we'd probably be done with the fight already. Look out! That mark. What in the w It can't be. Can it? Caught you napping, old man! You too? What's with everybody all of a sudden? Not that I'm complaining. You're up, partner! We, we have a winner! Vince Vanquish has done it again! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> the Invincibles!
Eagles take the final! And what a final it was! Stick around for the award ceremony, folks! We did it, man! We won! It wasn't easy, though, huh? That was the toughest tournament yet. Thanks for seeing it through with me, partner. Hey, the grand prize is something called the Rainbow. Word is, it's worth a bunch of dough. How about we sell it and split the... Uh, 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 hey! Hey! Vince needs some help! Over here! Congratulations, that was some incredible stuff out there. Shame about what happened to Vince, though. <coughs> so they're saying he won't be out of action for too long. Guess all the years of fighting finally caught up to him. Anyway, they're postponing the award ceremony until he's better. Looks like he'll be sticking around a little longer, champ. Tournament committee's arranged for some free accommodation for you at the end. Why not go rest up a while? Okay, cool. We won. I think this guy... I don't know if you won the tournament at all, but can't help thinking about those missing fighters. I don't want to rain on your parade. Okay. We should have known Vince was overdoing it. He must have had so much on his mind. Do you care about anything? No. You still care about nothing but your skin. Fair enough. Uh, this guy right here, the one that was talking about the lady fighters? Oh, it's you. So called champion. Why do you have to go beat up my jade like that, huh? How could you do that to the poor kid? Yeah, he only cares about the ladies getting beat up because he's a simp. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We've already talked to you. I wonder if the ladies up here have anything to say now that we've beaten them. Uh, I'm the champ. I just beat everybody. How come I can't go up there? I think this guy... <coughs> I think this guy just still says we're weak. Yeah, okay, yeah. We're off, guy. Everything I sell is exclusive. You can't get stuff anywhere else at Octagonia. Huh? It's you, the champ's new partner. You got something you give me a sock or something? It's worth big bucks if you got... Guy! Why? Why, why you gotta be so weird? You won in your first ever tournament, too. Amazing, I can't wait for the award ceremony. Me neither, kid. Oh, you guys are still around. What's up? You were like lightning out there. I'm still in shock. I hope I get paired with you next time. I hope I get carried with uh, Cinderella here. Look who it is, the little fighter that could. Still can't believe you beat me. Don't get cocky, that was just a one-off. Next time we fight, I'm wiping the floor with you. Well, you're only using magic and not really powerful magic at that, but you did a good job. I really want to tell him how sorry I am that I got beat, but I can't do it, man. They look so cute when they're all sad. Everyone here is weird. Alright. Okay. I wonder what the uh, kids in the uh, orphanage have to say about Vince being sick and whatnot. In one second, I need something to drink. Alright. Where's uh, Golden Bozo? Ah, here he is. My tournament is over, but what an experience it's been. Eating Savanda has changed my life. I feel like fighting with him has shown me who I really am, you know? I, couldn't I wouldn't change a moment. Thanks to him, I know my true self. The next time we meet, I'm going to show him how much I've learned. Poor Golden Boy must have taken a hit to the head. All I can talk about is Sterling Silva, and he was clearly the star of the show. Okay. I'm just going to ignore everybody here. Fact is, this ain't the first time Vince has clapped like that. He ain't been right ever since he became the champ. Just hope he gets... Huh. I guess, you know, getting beat up for money is probably not great for your health. I'm telling you, these things are what makes the champ so tough. You buy one and you gotta be just like him. I'll, uh, hey, good to see you, pal. Don't worry about me. I ain't doing nothing shady, I promise. Yeah, uh-huh. Really? It's gonna make me just like him? Oh boy, I gotta have it. How much do you want? Kid, I worry for you. I really do. It was a pleasure watching you out there. Congratulations. It's kind of sad what happened to Vince, though. Hope he gets better soon. Me too. As long as he doesn't actually want to sell the rainbow, because I kind of need that. So, that's just my thing. Hey, where's the kid that's usually waiting out here for the autograph? Is Uncle Vince going to be okay? 
He'll keep fighting for the little guy as long as it takes. His name is Vince Vinklish. Ah, it's no good. I'm trying to have fun, but I'm too worried about Uncle Vince. He'll get better soon. Don't you worry, kid. He'll survive. Can I go check up on him in his room? No. Guess not. Sure, Uncle Vince is going to be okay. Uncle Vince is going to be okay. He's not going to die, is he? Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, I don't think anybody uh, has anything new to say, so let's just go rest up at the inn and go from there. You guys ever look at like a clock or something, and for some reason, like the time it takes for it to transfer over from one second to the next suddenly seems like it's taking quite a while, but then it continues at normal. Like it's not actually like taking an extra time. It just seems like uh, when you look at that, like the second ticking over, it just seems like it takes slightly longer than normal. And it's like, wait, did something happen? I I have that all the time, just looking at like clocks and stuff. It's real weird. I might be the only one, but probably not, because people are weird all over the world, so... Anyways, speaking of weird, let's go to bed. Oh, we got another uh, night here. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, I doubt the inn is much more than 50 or 60 gold anyways, or 100 gold tops. I need a wee word with you. Can I come in? Just you in here, eh, laddie? I was hoping to speak to your pals, too. Could you ask them to join us? It's Jade. The lass here was fighting within the tournament. She's missing. I've looked all over town, but she's nowhere to be found. I can't help but worry she's got herself caught up in something. Will you help an old man look for his wee friend? Sure, why not? You're a star. She's really hot. With yourself and your pals here to help, I'm sure we'll find her in no time. Right. The last place anyone saw her was over by the orphanage. Let's start there, shall we? I don't know why she'd be down by the orphanage. What, like her motherly instinct kick in and she's like, hey, I gotta go talk to the kids after losing? I have no idea. Like... Maybe she just likes kids. I mean, that makes sense. Or she wanted to go see how the champ was doing. Yeah, that's probably it, actually. But you know what? We'll figure out more about that next time. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys then when we go look at the orphanage. Have a good night.